Ko tātou whare, tēnā tātou katoa. Uh, I'm very proud to be standing, um, if not in unanimity, as the previous speaker um, indicated, then certainly in near unity and definite consensus um, around this bill. We've heard tonight from uh, a wide range of speakers across the House. Many have shared um, personal and family stories that help affirm that the decision that we're making in respect of this bill tonight is the correct one. Many people have been very honest and um, sharing about their personal experiences in respect of tobacco and smoking, and I think that the House is both honoured and humbled by those genuine and personal experiences. We've also had a raft of statistics that tell us what the collective experience has been, what research and evidence um, supports in respect of this um, curse and scourge of, of tobacco. We know that it is the single biggest cause of preventable, preventable deaths amongst New Zealanders. And in respect of Māori and Pacific communities, it takes a very, very high toll. One in two Māori spoke and um, in terms of the Pacific community, almost a third smoke as well. We know that these are preventable deaths and that Māori experience 10% greater mortality rate from smoking-related deaths than non-Māori. And we know that Māori are three times more likely than non-Māori to die of lung cancer. And for the Pacific uh, communities, 8% of deaths in females and 19% in males could be avoided if smoking was eliminated. We've heard tonight about the high uh, economic and fiscal costs that smoking um, subjects our community to, but we've also touched on the high social costs that it also incurs. We know stories of families that have suffered, not just uh, in the present, but through generations. And so the, uh, the stand that we're taking tonight as a parliament that, will, that comes after several years of incremental progress is a very important one in staunching the loss of life to this curse. As has been noted, the bill provides for incremental increases because we're very conscious that just as smoking is very high incident in low socioeconomic um, communities and families, the impact will hit them hardest and we need to be as supportive as possible in recognising that smoking is an addiction. Almost everyone I know who smokes wishes that they didn't and could stop. And we need to be aware that the decision we make tonight will have a significant impact, but that there is a lot of support available for people. And that change will help, not only personal health, but the health of whānau and communities, the health of our nation and society, and the health of our future. I am particularly um, supportive of this because I have spent a good deal of my life trying to persuade friends and whānau to stop smoking. I have spent a good deal of my life telling women who I consider otherwise intelligent to stop smoking. No. I, can, I, we, I could, I could the, Mr Hughes uh, suggests I name them, but I have so many friends and such a big whānau that we, and they are all so intelligent that it would take you know, us well into the extraordinary urgency that we may find unnecessary. Um, and I am really pleased that this is another step, another nail in the coffin of tobacco smoking in our society, and I wholeheartedly uh, support it. I have sisters and brothers who still smoke now, and I hope they're watching this, and I hope that they are uh, committing to stopping smoking. Um, but more importantly, I have nieces and nephews who have started smoking, and I want them now to consider how important it is for them to stop smoking and for them to recognise that it is not cool and that it doesn't look glamorous. Uh, the Honourable Ruth Dyson uh, recalled an earlier day when um, smoking was portrayed as sexy and glamorous. And one only needs to watch the series of Mad Men, um, and the title is particularly um, appropriate and apt, where it harks back to a previous day where um, smoking was uh, seen as being something that, uh, if you were really cool, you should do. And it was mad, and we need to stop it. And we need to be able to help people, young people to stop before they start. 
We need that uh, for them to recognise that uh, they can't afford it first off because financially it's beyond their means, but actually in terms of their long health, term health, it's beyond their means. Um, as the Minister indicated earlier too, we have to be concerned about our whare tamariki, about our ability and capacity to give birth to future healthy generations. And tobacco um, kills that opportunity and it creates a very poor start for children who are carried in a womb of a mother who continues to smoke. We need to be um, supportive of every measure that will help uh, people who are addicted to this um, terrible scourge to give up. And um, we know that Quitline and many other agencies are available to help them do so. So, uh, Mr Speaker, uh, tonight we've had so many speakers talk about the costs, about the opportunities, about what this bill provides um, in a further step along the path of creating a healthy New Zealand. So, Mr Speaker, I would like to end as every other speaker has begun. First of all, I would like to pay tribute to Minister um, Tari Anaturia, who has fought this fight but when it was very unpopular, as well as tonight when we are warmed by the popularity of the support. I commend her for recognising that it isn't, in fact, in many ways, the least of it is a fiscal cost issue. Mostly it is about the health of our communities, about the health of our whānau, about the health of our babies, those that have been born and those who are yet to be born. So, Minister Ngā Mihi Nui Kia Koe e Wahanei Tēnei Kaupapa. To the Māori Affairs Select Committee, uh, to my tungāne, well, he tungāne kato ke rungi te, te rā komiti, um, but to tau henare... Oh, wait, te rā... Oh, kia kaha. Um, I commend tau henare, who every day struggles. I commend tau henare. Simon's asking me to remember there are others on the committee. But first of all, I commend tau henare because every day... Every day he struggles, he struggles with this particular fight and he is winning it and he is winning the fight and he, because he recognised how important it is, how important it is to stop smoking and to be the role model he needs to be to his children, to his mokopuna, to his community. I'd like to commend um, my tungane Hone Harawira who brought the tobacco inquiry to the Māori Affairs Select Committee, who pummeled them into agreeing to have this, um, this kaupapa, and who, has, and who has gone around Aotearoa, New Zealand, uh, carrying the flag on many kaupapa, but on this one in particular. Kia koe, um, hone, ngā mihi nui kia koe. 